Here we are again, I'm going to be talking about uh, thread repair again. The, the focus on this one here is actually from uh, this type of tooling here. This is what's called a time cert. Uh, this is also a time cert, it's just a larger version of it, so maybe it's easier to see. And we're gonna do a comparison between it and this one over here, which is coming from, uh, I think this is a recoil one, or a permacoil, sorry, it's permacoil. There we go. But it's just a comparison between a, a wire thread insert and a solid thread insert. So right off the bat, you see that if this is the middle of the table, there's a few more pieces involved in doing a time cert than there is involved in doing just a helicoil or a wire thread insert. Uh, this is an extra tool, so let's start over here on this one and let's talk about what's required. Well, I forgot the drill bit, so here's the drill bit. Remember the drill bit is gonna be specified on the tap and this is not a regular tap, it's actually a screw thread tap. Uh, and this one is to repair a, a 10 by 1.25 thread. So if you've got a 10 by 1.25 hole that's been damaged, this is the tap that you're gonna reference. Uh, you look at the tap and it says on this one to use a 13 30 seconds drill bit. Now granted, this is uh, a metric thread repair and this is a standard inch based uh, drill bit. But they do it this way here in the States because inch drill bits are a lot easier to get a hold of. So you, you know, so it's easier for you to, to do the whole job. So first step in that is to drill the hole out as straight as you can. And the second step is to tap it just as usual. Remember, make a revolution, then back it off one turn, uh, or sorry, a quarter turn, and then make a revolution back off a quarter turn to break the chips that are built up inside the tap. Once you have it tapped, then you're gonna use your installation tool, installing the, the, the coil on there. And remember on the end of the coil installation tool, there is uh, the, the thread has been ended abruptly like this to where there's actually a drive tab on it. So when you screw this on to the tool, it stops and that's actually what's gonna drive this guy into the hole. Now in larger, uh, larger diameters like in this 10 millimeter they offer or they, they make available a tool to help install it and what this tool is going to do is pre-compress that spring so you install this coil spring in there and then you put the driver tool into it and you start to turn it and you can actually feel it compressing it on the inside of this it's tapered and it's threaded so as it's being turned get this installed here as it's being turned, it starts to come out the other side in a compressed form. Let me get that close to it, there we go. So we can see it's starting to come out the end there. Now this is gonna be easier to install into the hole that we've just threaded with our STI tap. And it just makes it easier for installation. And sometimes you don't need this tool and you just screw it in and everything's fine and everything works great, but it is an option. So let me just run this all the way out. And then we're going to talk about the time cert. The time cert system is what's called a solid thread insert. And you notice it's not a wire. This is actually, I believe these are cast. Uh, they do have machined steel ones and aluminum ones. Uh, but it's a solid thread insert. And, and what that means is it's, it's a solid piece where the, the wire one is obviously, like we've said many times already, it's just a piece of wire. This one is uh, being solid and it has some features about it that give it uh, kind of a step up over the helicoil in my opinion. So the first thing is there's a flange on the top. So this part right here is where the top, this part is going to meet at the top of the hole once it's fully installed. The next part is the bottom and we can't really see it but on the inside it's threaded for the bolt that you're gonna be using. Like this is for the bolt that, well actually this is for this one here. But this one has a bolt screw into it. Well, that's not the right one. Is this it? And nope. And so we've got a random helicoil here in the set. That's not it either. No, it's not, well. Okay, well, 
the bolt is going to screw into there. Or the bolt is going to screw in, but the thing is, is in the end of this tab or end of the screw thread insert, the threads are what's considered imperfect. They're not finished. So if you can see down the inside there, you can see fully thread, fully formed threads. And if you can't see it in the video, I'll overlay a, a shot. Uh, because this lower section is what's going to hold it in the hole and keep it from backing out. So you're going to take a, uh, this is what's called a thread forming tap. This is a tap that doesn't cut, it just forms threads uh, through, through uh, force. And you're going to screw this in to install this into the hole. The, the tool will screw in and it'll stop at those imperfect threads because they're not fully formed. Then the, the, the insert will screw into the hole. Ideally, it would seat on the flange at the top and that's what's supposed to happen. And once it seats up here, once it seats up here, the thread insert will stop spinning and then the tool will be forced through and cause the end of this to flare out slightly. And when it does that, it locks itself into the hole. In many situations, they also say, well, go ahead and install some Loctite. And you can use a green Loctite, which is a, a high strength, or you can use blue or red, which is also high strength. You install Loctite on the outside, use the thread forming oil on the inside, you screw it in. And once this guy goes all the way through, the threads are formed, it's expanded, and the flange on this end is holding it in place, so this guy is permanently affixed into the casting that you're repairing. So the process for this one, you start off by using the time cert size drill bit. This one here has a, a, a square end on it, and that's just because they want to keep the tooling similar. Uh, even though it goes from here and it's bigger then it goes back down again. So you can chuck this up into a drill. You just have to be careful because when you're oversizing holes with a drill bit, these things have a tendency of just either catching really hard uh, and possibly breaking the drill bit or you can draw off angle. So you're gonna start off by drilling this and you're gonna drill out the full length of the hole to the depth required. The next step is gonna be this spot facer. It's actually a, uh, a counter boring tool and what this one will do is machine a step in the top of the hole for the flange. So here's the insert for this size tool. That flange right there needs a place to sit. And this tool is going to cut that counter bore for that, that piece. After that, you're then gonna tap it just as before. Okay, make a turn, back off a quarter turn, make a turn, back off a quarter turn, and you're gonna tap it to the full depth required. Then the final step is to take your screw thread insert. You're going to screw it onto the tool. Now they do, re they do require oil on the threads. You're going to put a little bit of Loctite around the outside here. Now with Loctite, you only need about two to three threads worth all the way around. So a two to three thread uh, width band of Loctite all the way around is sufficient. You don't need to coat this whole thing with Loctite. And then you install it in the hole. As you're installing it, this will go into the bottom of the insert until it hits the imperfect threads. And then the insert will start to screw into the hole fully. Once the flange hits the counter bore, then the, the thread forming tap will be forced to go through the imperfect threads, swedging them out and locking it in place, and you're done. So while it, it does have, um, say we'll say two different steps drilling just like helicoil tapping just like helicoil helicoil doesn't require a counter bore and while helicoil does have an installation tool it does not form the thread insert in place so that's a time cert and they have many different sizes of time certs they go all the way down to i believe four millimeters the largest and then they've got time certs for pretty large holes and I don't happen to have any of these time certs here with me. Uh, there's the drill for it, there's the tap for it, here's our counter boring tool for this size. And here's the thread forming tap for that one. So they have a very large range of tooling for them. 
the, uh, the inserts usually come out to, depending on the size, they could be maybe 20 or 30 cents a piece, all the way up to a couple dollars a piece. And like I said earlier, they do sell different materials for these where you can get a, a standard metal one like this. And I forget what this one is. Then they actually have a steel version and aluminum versions of, of time certs. So this is the process we're gonna go through next. Uh, we're actually going to be doing this eight by one, two, five. I've got a, uh, a valve cover, a rocker cover off of an Isuzu diesel or a, it's a Chevy diesel, it's a Duramax. And we're gonna be repairing one of the holes. Now in this situation, I won't be using the drill press, I'll just be doing this by hand. Let me get set up for that and uh, I'll bring you back. Here we are set up to fix our hole. Uh, the hole's been damaged and we need to fix it so that the screw will go in properly. It kind of gets, it's very loose and it starts to get really tight right about there. I don't know what happened. Maybe somebody screwed the wrong bolt in there. So this first step, like I said, is to uh, drill out the, the hole with the, uh, the specified drill bit. So I'm just gonna do this one by hand. Let's see how straight I can go. Let me fix my paper towel there. Oh, got a little sideways. Well, it's not perfect. It works in a pinch. All right, so I got it drilled out. Should be pretty straight. The next thing we're gonna do is to put this counterboring tool in there and cut for a counterbore that's gonna receive the, uh, the flange on the top of the insert. Now this tool is, uh, it's got a self-limiting on it, self-limiter. So what it's doing is it's actually cutting down to that step there. And once it hits this step, it stops spinning or stops cutting and you can hear it just doing a free running. Okay, next step, get my lubrication and we're gonna tap the hole. Now the helicoil is a little bit faster, uh, but some manufacturers prefer this one. So anything that's repaired under warranty, they might prefer that you use a, uh, a time search style repair. So I'm trying to eyeball straightness here. There we go. All right, so since we're doing a blind hole, I will need to take this out a couple times just to make sure I get the chips out. Oops, dropping everything. Get my brush. Just cleaning the chips off the tap. I'm just gonna go at it again. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and blow out the hole just to get the chips out. And blow them off the table. Get a little more lubrication. Seems like I need to go a little bit deeper. I think I'm going 
down very straight. Just going to blow it out again. All right, we're at the bottom of the hole. We just need to install the time cert. So I've got the installation tool. I went ahead and let me take that off. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on the tool. There you go, and that's just to keep the tool from galling up on the insert and locking into it. Put that on there. There we go. And then, stick it in the hole. And what should happen is the insert will go down to the bottom of the, uh, the counter bore for the flange, and then the tool will stop will keep turning as the insert stops and then the tool will be forced through the end of the insert and that will expand those imperfect threads into place and then it gets easier and then you just back it out and we have a repaired thread just that quick we'll wipe that off we we'll take our bolt and it screws right back into that hole. There we go. And that's a time cert. So it's a pretty quick process. It does require more tools, so it does have a higher cost. But uh, in, in many people's opinions, if you ask time cert, of course, they'll say that this, a, this is a longer lasting thread repair. The benefit to helicoil comes in other aspects of the world, uh, like an in industry. If you have a thread that you need to you know have a bolt run in and out of hundreds of times maybe it's for a fixture or you know something for manufacturing well the the helicoil is replaceable you can actually pull it out you can grab the end of the wire pull the wire out of the hole and you can install a new one and everything should be okay a time cert to get that time cert out we will most definitely damage the threads that the time cert's engaged in but there is, you know, one thing for that is they actually do make uh, oversized time certs. They make um, a one step over and then two steps over inserts. And anything custom required, I'm sure they'll make something for you there. But that's doing a time cert. And uh, I think that's all we got. So until next time.